Roman Simantov from RS Globus with our work holding solution. In this video, we're going to continue reviewing our hexagon base with additional features, additional keys that uh, are possible to mount. So uh, let's start. We have our mini adapter made out of stainless steel 303. We have our small key also made out of stainless steel 303. And you have two options how to utilize these both parts with our hexagon base. We're going to start together with the mini adapter and the small key. Mount the mini, uh, the small key in between the mini adapter bolts. Take our bolt, screw it in, tighten it a little bit. Now take our mini adapter, mount it in between the walls of the hexagon base. Again the bolt, screw it in, and you're ready to go. Now uh, this particular combination between hexagon base, mini adapter and small keys, I've designed uh, for those uh, setters that, you, uh, that work with uh, custom design rings, with uh, high-end jewelry, that is a particular in requirements for achieving a certain uh, uh, angle uh, in order to uh, perform their craft in the highest levels. So let's see how it works with our micro ball vase. Again mount the hexagon base in between the clamps of the ball vase, lock it and it's done. Now our combination between hexagon base mini adapter and small keys are uh, with our attachments for rings, four cylinders and ten expandable collets. The large box and the wheel are more uh, suitable for the master key and for the curved key. So this combination is specially designed for rings. Now so let's see how it works and looks with our expandable collet. We're going to take our bolt, stainless steel 38 length millimeter, our two cones, find the right size, take our screw knob, lock it. Start tightening the bolt, the collet expands and captures the ring, now it's locked secure. Of course on the small key, the same as the master key, I have the slots for a comfortable grip for the fingers when you're holding and working on the, uh, on the ring. 360 degrees rotation available. Now let's see how comfortable and which angles this combination provides you if you release a little bit the lower bolt and the upper bolt you will see that now you can find 360 degrees angle for your needs as soon as you find what you need like the bottom bolt like the upper bolt and it's locked in place, comfortable grip, start drilling or opening holes, release a little bit, so I have 360 degrees, tighten back again, either use our allen key and start cutting, again if you just want to move from horizontal vertical position you do not need to release the lower bolt, all you have to do is release the upper bolt and you have the vertical horizontal position as it comfortable for you lock it back in place if this combination this feature doesn't comfortable for you is not comfortable for you always release a little bit the ball base reconfigure the hexagon base if it's still interfering reconfigure again 
Now it's much more comfortable. Go back to horizontal position. And to be more efficient and boost your productivity, uh, you only need to use one Allen key five millimeters, both for the ball vase, for the lower bolt, for the upper bolt, and for the bolt, the tightening, the expandable collet. So one key uh, suitable to work with one, two, three, four bolts in order to boost your productivity and be more efficient. Let's see how it looks with a larger ball weight. Same features, raise the lower bolt. The upper bolt, find the right angle for yourself. Start cutting, release a little bit the screw knob. We have 360 degrees of rotation. Lock it back. Release the upper bolt to go back to vertical position. Now let's see how it looks with our hexagon handle. Again we take our hexagon handle, mount it underneath the hexagon base. And you transist it in a matter of seconds to work with your hands. Very comfortable grip, good weight. Play it around in order to find the right angle that's suitable for you. Tight the bolt with the expandable collet, expandable bit more, it's not moving. Tight it a little bit more. So Now let's see how it works with our four cylinder aluminum with Sherlock or Thermalock. We're gonna go back to the micro ball vase, lock it, this. Our aluminum cylinder with your lock with a ring mounted on top. Bolt 38 millimeters length. Side. Take our screw knob. Lock it. And you can achieve the same angles, the same features using the cylinder with Sherlock or Thermalock, release a little bit, 360 degrees rotation, lock it again, reconfigure the hexagon base according to what you are comfortable for, lower part, upper part, and always you can find the right angle that you need. Very innovative tool, great addition if you're working on custom design rings that has some unique features or requirements that usually in production style work you don't have that need but right here 
you can find that. Now, for custom design rings, a lot of times you find that there is a requirement to set stones underneath the halo, I meaning not only on the top of the halo near the center stone, but underneath the halo right here. So usually what setters do, they take a piece of wood, uh, apply shellac on the top of it, put the uh, ring upside down, and it's time consuming every time you want to reposition because you want to put stones all around the, the halo, it's uh, not so comfortable. So uh, we have two options for that reason. We have our round holder and our hexagon holder. And how does it work? You just um, mount Sherlock. This slot is of course designed for Sherlock holding better. And you heat it up and mount the ring upside down. Let's see how it looks with a sample that I prepared. Looks like so. Of course, the round holder is for round stones, half a carat center stone and bigger, and the hexagon holder is for those square princess uh, cushion uh, emerald cut stones from half a carat and up. Let's see how it works with our combination of hexagon base, mini adapter and small key. Let's mount it in between the hole of the small key, lock it with our screw knob, release the, up, the upper bolt, close tightly the lower bolt and now you have comfortable way to find and work on underneath the halo to mount, to put stones, to do drilling, layout. And once you want to start cutting, you just tighten the screw knob in a comfortable way to cut and prepare. Of course, by releasing the lower bolt and the upper bolt you can find the right angle for yourself if you find it you have two options where to locate it you can lower, lock the upper bolt but still have a forward and backwards rotation for your comfort lock it again release a little bit the screw knob once again Let's see how it looks with our hexagon handle. Like so. Release the upper bolt. Have a comfortable approach. The slots again for your comfortable grip for your fingers so you hold it tight and you can start cutting and performing your craft let's see another option how we can utilize our hexagon base mount it back to our micro ball base Lock it, Let's release the round holder, now we reviewed this option with mini adapter and small key, but some setters from my experience use a different lenses at microscope, so if your objective is uh, 1.0 instead of uh, 0 0.5 or, or 0 0.60 so your uh, height uh, so your height between the jewelry piece and the microscope lens shortens so this configuration will be too high for you and will be out of focus 
what you can do for those setters who use a much larger objective on their uh, microscope lens. All they need to do is to release the bo bottom bolt. Release the connection between the mini adapter and the small pin. Let's put the mini adapter aside and you can mount directly the small key to the hexagon base and achieve the necessary height that you need in case you have a larger objective on a microscope and your work distance is much shorter than usual. Let's see how it looks with a ring. Let's take off our cylinder with a lock, mount it. screw the screw knob and still you have horizontal to vertical position once again if the screw knob is too close to the clamp all you have to do is release re reconfigure and right now you have the horizontal vertical position lock it lock the bolt and it's dead 360 degrees rotation. Let's lock it again. Release the bolt that connects between the hexagon base and the small key. Let's see how it looks on our lock ball base. Same features. Not comfortable for you. Release the ball vase, reconfigure, and find the right angle for yourself. Because of the short distance, once again, uh, the small key with the mini adapter or the small key directly mounted to the hexagon base, it's suitable for rings in two versions, either with expandable collets or either with four cylinder aluminum. Let's see how it looks using our handle. Let's mount our handle to the hexagon base. Let's try it out with our expandable collet. Bolt 38 millimeters length. Our cone, expandable collet, another cone mounted to the hole. Take the screw knob, lock it, take the ring, mount it on top of the expandable collet start tightening the bolt, the collet expands and captures the ring, lock the base with the handle much stronger and you have a vertical and horizontal position in a matter of seconds, easy transition, comfort, comfortable grip. Release a little bit screw knob, 360 degrees rotation, lock it again, let's go back to our micro ball vase, put our handle aside, and we're back in business. Find the right angle that you need. If it's a little bit loose, all you need to do is just tighten the bolt that connects and it's locked in place. Not moving. And 
I believe we covered our options with the small key in the mini adapter. Let's mount again the mini adapter and see how it looks with the configuration of hexagon base, mini adapter and small key. We take the mini adapter, mount it in between the walls, take a bolt, screw it in. Truly endless options and positioning possibilities once you use our configuration with the hexagon base, mini adapter and small keys. Either you work on the shank, on the halo, on the center stone or underneath the halo to mount micro pave, to set micro pave. Very comfortable. Of course, you don't waste time. One bolt, one Allen key, size for all bolts. lock it in place this is how it looks I think we're done for this video once again thank you for watching more videos are coming up with additional features that's possible with our tools. You're more than welcome to visit our website at rsglobus.com. Thank you for watching. See you next time.